the really frustrating thing is we could be madly happy. From hotels to hot pants. Is all this made entirely from your own imagination? To fancy parties and forbidden love. You have no idea how boring everything was before I met you. Bill Nighy and Carrie Mulligan have impressive on-screen resumes. I thought I left because your wife discovered I'd been sleeping with you for over six years. I mean, well, yes, that as well. That played a part. <laughs> now they're taking that huge talent to the Broadway stage in the play Skylight. It's about romance and grief and loss and life, real life, and it's written so authentically. There aren't many plays I want to do, and when the suggestion was that we should revive this one, it seemed like the perfect situation. The story centers around one night when two former lovers try to rekindle their winter spring romance. She has this real fervor and um, passionate belief in what she's doing. And then she's got this past that's the antithesis of everything that she's doing now. It's a great role. It's my favorite play. It's one of the greatest plays in the English language. Nahi's connection to the play started 30 years ago when he saw it for the very first time. Now, I came out like a kid. It was everything I loved. I wrote to Sir Michael Gamble and said, I now consider you to be the leader of my profession. And he wrote back and said something like, pull yourself together. The clever writing and quick-witted humor is just the right mix. There are great jokes in it. I do like delivering jokes. Um, I think it's bad manners to invite people to sit in the dark for a couple of hours and not tell them a joke. You're different from everyone else in this part of town. How is that? You're the only person who's fought so hard to get into it when everyone else is desperate to get out. Helping with the laughs? Matthew Beard, who recently starred in the Oscar-winning movie The Imitation Game. There is this huge political debate within the text which is fascinating and thrilling and, and you're never quite sure which side you, you are on. But one thing everyone can agree on, a tasty bowl of spaghetti bolognese that the actors cook up right on stage. All I did in rehearsals was learn how to cook. And literally until about a week before we were on, I was still trying to figure out how to chop a carrot without chopping my fingers off. And I think there are a couple of uh, things that she puts in it that are slightly controversial. I ate it every night in the interval in London. <laughs> For Backstage on Broadway, I'm Tamsin Fidel.